Mambo, 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 mambo. Mambo, I am Binti Malu and this is my channel. Welcome. If it's the first time to see this face, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. And I hope you come back again or you subscribe if you're up to it. And yeah, today's video is gonna be 10 Swahili proverbs. I'm gonna say them in Swahili and also translate them into English. I have done several of these videos. I will have them linked below. And somebody suggested, I'll have the comment here. They said that I talk too fast, so I should write, my understanding was I should write them both in Swahili and English. Since when I say them in English, maybe people are not catching it. So I will have them written down in Swahili and English, just for the reference. But thank you so much to um, the person who gave that suggestion. I truly appreciate it and it's a great suggestion and I'm gonna implement it in this video. By the way, if for those who don't know what Swahili is, Swahili is a mixture of Bantu and Arabic and it's a language spoken in a lot of East African countries and they have a lot of good sayings that might not be found in the English language or maybe might be found in the English language but they have a lot of wisdom. Swahili sayings and African sayings offer so much wisdom. If you've never heard of it and if you've never done any research about it, this is the time. Google African sayings, I'm a Google Swahili sayings and you'll be surprised and if you have, if you want clarification, holla at your girl. The first proverb is Sio kila mwenye makucha huwa simba. And in English, it translates as not all who have clothes are lions. My interpretation of this is, you know how sometimes the same tutu anyoka ni nyoka? Right? Okay, so the way I see this is that sometimes people might have certain qualities that give you the impression that they're gonna turn out a certain way. For instance, let's say that somebody was raised in a house where they had a lot of drug use so they've grown up in a surrounding where drug use is a norm but that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be drug users in the future they can choose to change their ways so not everyone who has clothes is a lion sometimes the clothes get cut off don't be so quick to judge people do change and when they do it's better to appreciate them than to remind them of the clothes that they had the second one is Debe Tupu Haliachi Kuvuma. The English translation of this is an empty pot make the loudest noise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so the way I understand this is sometimes people who talk a lot don't have a lot of wisdom to share. I said sometimes. Can we can you repeat that? Sometimes. Capitalize up and belly. Sometimes people who talk like have say a lot don't have a lot to share they do have a lot of wisdom to share and then other t like in this scenario so basically it's that some people those who are wise observe and keep quiet more than they talk and be quick to judge so an empty vessel makes a lot of noise because they have nothingness but emptiness is gonna echo out this is it sounds savage but I'm not trying to be savage by the way the third one is kupotea njia ndio kujua njia in English, the translation is to get lost is to learn the way. If you've seen my previous videos, you would know by now that I enjoy to learn from my mistakes. And this proverb just goes ahead to reassure me that my mistakes sometimes teach me better than the good choices I make in life. So the bad choices, although you might think that you have messed up, but in actual sense, you learn from those mistakes and you gain knowledge from that. So getting lost doesn't mean that it's a, getting lost is not necessarily a bad thing. It means that you have learned the way. So when you know what doesn't work, you will know what works. The fourth one is Hisani Hai Oz. Hisani Hai Oz. And in English, it translates to kindness does not rot. They said it, you know it's true nothing more to say be kind kindness does not have an expiry date so that's basically what this thing says K 
kindness is one of those things it's like water it never expires and my kindness is like air it's always there no some people will not do some people will not get it but to read too and Sarah, you're gonna get this the fifth one is ulimi unaoma kuliko meno and in english it translates to the tongue hurts more than teeth there's this thing that words sometimes hurt you more than actions and once you say something you can never take it back basically that's what this says so sometimes words have a more bad words like hurtful words have a greater impact than biting yourself with a teeth so you'd rather bite bite your lips ama bite your tongue than saying things that are gonna hurt someone because those are gonna cause a bigger impact they can cause hurt and they can build someone up so words have a greater impact than we give them credit for this one is more like a tongue twister kind of it's like a matching thing the sixth one is atangai najua hujua that's easy to say you can say it with me atangai najua hujua and in english it translates to he who wanders by day a lot learns a lot if you stay in your own bubble you can find yourself in your own world there isn't much to learn except what you have to offer and what you want to learn however if you break those walls and go and explore and allow yourself to wonder or allow your mind to wonder you will learn a lot number seven is ukipenda boga penda na walaki and in english it translates to if you love a pumpkin also love it flowers i don't know how to interpret it so if you have any ideas then go ahead and leave it in the comment section i am clueless about this right now very clueless i don't know what i was thinking when i was coming up with this when i was writing this down clueless very clueless so if you have a suggestion as i said leave it below number eight is muungwana nikitendo in english it translates a good person is so viewed by their actions you can go ahead and say i am a good person trust me i am good wakati your actions say the opposite so words actions speak louder than words that's another phrase that can be used to this number nine is ka nao ujue tafsiri yao in english it translates to stay with them to know their translations or interpretations now the way I interpret I interpret this is like it's a cultural aspect. So sometimes your culture clashes with other cultures. And to learn someone else's culture, you have to stay with them, like live in their surrounding, live in their culture so that you can be able to learn about them. Don't be so quick to judge other cultures. Find out what you can learn from them and get that. So the more you interact with people, the more you learn about how they carry themselves, how their cultures are, how their upbringings are, so you gain a lot of knowledge by interacting with people. Number 10, which is our last one, it says, Ukitaja nyoka shika fimbo mkononi. In English, it translates to, if you mention a snake, hold a club in your hand. The way I understand it is that sometimes you ask for things in your life, like, you ask for God to help you be successful, but you're not ready for the success. So when you ask some, if you ask for something, um, uh, if you want something in life, prepare to work on it or prepare for the consequences that come with it. Like be caught prepared. Just don't say, oh, the snake is going to come. I'm just going to wait here. And then whatever impact the snake causes to me, eh, it is out this be ready to conquer that snake be ready to hit it by its head it's it seems so rough but i i hope you understood me anyway those are 10 swahili proverbs i will be making more videos like this in the future if you have any favorite swahili proverb leave it below and i will be featuring it in an upcoming video but for now that's it thank you so much for watching this video Remember to keep spreading the African love, whatever kind of love you have to offer, because there's no room for hate. I shall see you very, very soon. Kwaheri!